One of the most magical things about making a painting is you get this two-dimensional surface and all of a sudden you can create distance and dimension. It's one of the most exciting things. And there's a, a couple of little tricks that you can use to really push that illusion. And one of them would be what I call structural perspective. So that's sort of lines and the fact that things that are a certain size appear to get smaller as they go off into the distance. The other thing is what I'd call atmospheric perspective. And that is the shift in tone or hue between something as it gets further away. So this is a little strategy that I've got that helps uh, that process and helps you discover which colours to use where. So a little trick that I use is I imagine that the world has sheets of cellophane in it or coloured cellophane and the objects that are further away have more sheets of colour cellophane between me and them than objects that are closer. So in other words, those sheets of colour, coloured cellophane are going to affect the appearance of objects in the distance. Thinking about it that way allows me to add things and push them further away and reduce that colour and bring them close. So we need to make though a decision about the colour of the cellophane. What colour do we make the cellophane? And the answer to that is look to the light. So for example, and I'll do a little demonstration here, we've got a nice summer day here. And what we'll do is we'll use this colour here to decide what colour to make the trees in the distance. Okay. So just to highlight that point, imagine that we're underwater for example. And when you're underwater, it's very easy to see the effect that water or the colour of the water has on objects that are further away. And of course the same thing happens on land, it's just not as obvious. So what we'll do is do a little demo here. I've got this photo prepared earlier. And I'll paint two dolphins and I'll push one away and bring one close. So I painted this dolphin here very quickly and what I want to do is put another dolphin over here but I want to push him further away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously make the dolphin smaller but I'm going to add the watercolour to the dolphin to create the illusion that there is more water between him and me. And how do I know which part of the watercolour to use? That part's easy and it works the same for landscapes and all sorts of things. If he's down here, I use this watercolour. If he's up here, I use this watercolour. And if he's here, I use this watercolour. So here is my watercolour and here is my dolphin colour. If I want my dolphin further away, I add more of this. If I want him closer, I have more of this. So we should now theoretically be able to see this little dolphin being much further away. We'll let him dry, wipe off the chalk and come back and put the highlights on it, or we would if it was a proper painting. But I think that illustrates the process. Now, in the same way that water affects the appearance of objects further away, so does air. So you just have to find out what colour the air is. So as we said before, we've got this lovely summer sky 
and I'm going to paint some hills over here in the background with some trees on them and some trees in the foreground. So how do I decide what colour to paint these trees in the background? The answer is find out what colour the trees are in the foreground and add the sky colour. Let's see if that works. So I, I've decided that this is roughly my tree colour and you'll have to make that decision yourself. And here I have my sky colour. So as the same with the dolphins, if I want to make my trees further away, I add more sky colour. Okay. Now you may have to tweak that a little bit by adding a bit more blue here and there. And remember this is not all of the answers, it's just a suggestion to get you in the right direction. So remembering of course isn't going to answer all the questions, but it's going to get some of the way there. So I've mixed my sky colour with my hills colour or tree colour. I'm going to paint a little mountain there. And in fact, while we've got this colour, I'm going to just put a bit more blue in there and just see if I can make another mountain further away even. And gradually coming forward, by diminishing the sky colour, we create the illusion of dimension. Now, as I said, this doesn't solve all of the problems and you're going to have to make some adjustments for nuance and light and colour and foliage and all sorts of things. But it's, a, it's just a really nice platform to start with. So as a simple exercise, this is, as I said, illustrates the point perfectly. We have our sky colour, the hills in the distance have more sky colour, and as we come forward we diminish the amount of sky colour in our colour. <laughs> Instant dimension. As I said before though, there's always some subtleties and some nuance and a few other bits and pieces, but this gets the process going. So this concept is uh, covered pretty well in our vlogs which are downloadable tutorials, uh, one of which is um, dolphins underwater, uh, another one is a coral reef underwater, and the last one is sort of more above the water in tropical stuff, but we've got some islands in the distance, so it covers that um, idea of atmospheric perspective. So if you're interested, you can go to the shop and have a look right there.